we visit the Royal Show to find out why women don't have a more active role down on the farm. The lady who's both a farmer on the urban fringe and a countryside commissioner. And Heather Angel, who's carved out a career taking stunning pictures of rural areas and the natural world. Hello. Today, a bit of a role reversal, because we're considering the place of women in the countryside. While women have been accepted as equals elsewhere, they still seem to be playing second fiddle in rural areas. Happily, things are changing, and we'll be meeting some country women who have made it to the top. But many inequalities still remain. For instance, we'll be looking at the problems faced by working mums in the countryside. And I'll be talking to Anne Mallison again, who's brought in some more items from a collection showing us the role of women in the countryside in the past, as well as telling you what last week's item was for. But first, though, farming. At present, it's still the major employer in rural areas, but traditionally it's been an extraordinary chauvinistic industry, and it's slow to accept that women have a contribution to make. A visit to any livestock market proves how male dominated the business world of farming is. There's usually an unbroken circle of male faces around the ring. But apparently times are changing even down on the farm. And to find out more, Fiona went along to the Royal Show last week in Warwickshire. The 1992 Royal, the most important event in the farming calendar. Now that's a lovely little thing, isn't it? Made of wood, pinchers obviously, but what for? I will tell you this, they'll be much more useful at this time of the year than any other. Now, I want you to write in your answers on a postcard, please. And for the winner, there's a copy of this book, Sent in the Garden by Francis Perry. And the address to write to is Countryside Close, TVS Television, Vinters Park, Maidstone, Kent, ME14 5NZ. That's Countryside Close, TVS Television, Vinters Park, Maidstone, Kent, ME14 5NZ. Thanks, Bob and Anne. Well, from stories of days gone by now to the latest news from the countryside of the South, Fiona's been seeing what's happening, and here she is now with the latest. <laughs> Well, the controversy over the transport of live animals continues. The RSPCA has released new evidence that laws are being regularly flouted. Well, that's about it for this programme. Next week at this time, we're considering some conservation issues. We'll be looking at a new charcoal industry that aims to help preserve some of the South's coppiced woodland. Also endangered chalk grasslands. Once they were at risk because farmers were ploughing them up, now they're in danger because they're not being farmed. And how to recognise bird life while you're out for a walk in the countryside. We review a new guide to bird spotting. And I'll be looking over some more rural memorabilia as well as telling you what this interesting little pair of squeezers were for. And just to please David, <laughs> one of Anne's indications of how hard women worked in the past was the yolk. Wow. And this is what the dairymaid brought the, brought the milk in with. Oh, I don't think I'd be able to do that. <laughs> you were this surprisingly comfortable, actually. But at least the yolk's on Bob. Oh, oh God. Dear. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not good enough. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.